Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So, I know that I'm probably gonna get hate for this. Uh, any other probably possible creators are gonna be like, eh, you, you should just get off this topic. Well, guess what? I'm not gonna get off this topic because if that topic offends anyone else, oh, I'm, I'm actually fucking genuinely sorry that I'm hurting your feelings for this. Like, dead ass, I'm not lying to you. But at the same time, I have the right to voice my opinion. You guys can't take that away from me, and I have the right to post whatever I want on my channel, whether or not it terminates me or not. So, just like every other YouTuber, use commentary, share my own opinion, and on top of that, expose people for who they are and or what they do on the internet. If it's so wrong of me to do so, then I am sorry for hurting your feelings. Because apparently some people don't like it when information is shared about them, but then after when it hits the internet worldwide, they kind of just stop trying. But they try and always subjugate and hide the fact that the situation even happened. It's like this situation with fucking Billie Eilish. Now granted, that's a little bit too much information to expose on the internet about yourself and well, what you do in your free time. But I mean like, still, I have the right to voice my opinion about this, especially about the opinion and the situation I'm still going to talk about today, even though it's been about, a, well, what, like three weeks since this happened. But nonetheless, I am going to share because it not only affected my group for a while, for like a hot minute after, of course, things blew over, but me, being me, I am the only one who's going to do content on it because everyone else is, well, either too scared or too lazy to even do so. So I'm going to be the voice of reason and I'll be the one explaining pretty much everything, what's going on with, well, G Games for Life 718. Once again, yes, I know, I know, I know. Also, he even threatened behind the scenes, behind my back that, oh, he's going to report me, do this, do that. Like, dude, Really? You're gonna report me? Uh, okay. Wow. Way to go, mate. I don't report you for the shit that you do to me, but apparently you report the shit for what I do to you. Really? I see the irony behind that. So, here are some images, some more images, uh, that I'm gonna show you. Uh, they're gonna go by quick, of course, so then I could get along with the commentary. Thus far, the information seen within these images, of course, will be from the previous video's thumbnail, which we will be getting to at the end, or somewhere near the end of the video, so hang in there. Don't forget to pause the video if you need to read them, as they do go by very quickly. Duration is about 8.7 seconds for each image, so please, again, pause if you need to. For the images, like I said in the previous video, I believe, quote me on this, I am disappointed that Games for Life 718 went through with this, and regardless whether or not his life was threatened, he should have called the proper authorities to handle this situation, as, and I repeat, they can handle it swiftly, like truthfully. And the internet is known to have people who send death threats and discriminate violent behavior, not only that, but also track down IPs of course. Now when it comes to these types of people, they're just saying shit to say shit, honestly. But this, th this is just, no, this is wild to me, alright? This is just downright ridiculous to the point that not only him but Arya was also peer pressured. If anything, I feel like there is a small possibility that Arya had no involvement in it and games involved her to then cause her to be a part of this situation. Because honestly and in truth, I highly doubt she had anything to do with it. Because I haven't heard word of her even being affiliated with the situation before the situation even happened, of course. Because uh, I've talked to pretty much everyone, heard everyone's stories, and games thus far has been just pulling bullshit out his ass. Mark has even stated this, um, Warden has stated this, um, but I mean, like, this is my opinion. I'm not cyber attacking anyone, I'm not cyber bullying this, that, no, I'm giving my opinion and I'm sharing information to everyone, which at this point is now public information. Because if I'm not going to do it, I know for a fact someone else is going to do it. Someone way worse than me. And they're going to make it way worse than what I'm making it right now. So if anyone does have a problem with that, I mean, that's their problem, of course, not mine. 
But if you have a problem with it, I mean, then just get off my channel. Walk away from my channel. Don't view my channel. Don't do this. Don't do that. If you don't like this type of content, if you don't like people, you know, getting exposed, like, dude. If a simple person sitting at barely 800 subs makes a mini lad video on well, their video their channels they grow so big that they hit 200 to 300 thousand subscribers within just two months time and then they make another video and another video and then they gain even more subscribers now if the same situation here is just like that then what makes it any different for me to explain my opinion right and the end of the day it's my opinion if it's affecting you horribly then the reason why it's happening is because you feel guilty for yourself and for the choice you make it was your choice at the end of the day because want to know something i have a solution for you i'm literally being cyberbullied on this fucking computer every day and i don't know what to do problem solved